This is my YZ85 electric supermoto and I love everything about it except for two things. It's relatively expensive and it's a cop magnet. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to build a smaller, more affordable version of this bike. Yeah, I'm on my own. I don't need no one. I don't know, yeah. I'm starting this build with a Razer MX500. So right out of the box, it's clearly a kid's bike. It's pretty small, about half the size of a Suron, and it is slow. The motor only pulls 650 watts, so it tops at about 14 miles an hour. It's got these knobby tires, cable brakes with very little bite, suspension built for a quarter my weight, and worst of all, a half twist throttle. How could this happen to me? Here's the plan. Electro and co. Without a doubt. But first, we have to strip the bike. We've got everything we need for the build right here. Razor RSF street wheels, hydraulic disc brakes, DNM rear shock, a massive front fork upgrade, and of course, a complete 72 volt powertrain upgrade with a battery, motor, and controller from Electro Co. In fact, everything here is from Electro Co. Their kits have everything you need to do this build, including the throttle, key ignition, sprockets, and all the knickknacks. The bike is fully stripped. I just need to go outside and do a little bit of cutting before we can throw it all on. Wow, that's a really special experience to take a bike, strip it, and then turn it into something amazing on your own. I haven't even ridden it yet, and I already feel like I have a personal relationship with the bike. The goal was to build a smaller version of my electric YZ85, but you know what? I think we ended up with a perfect mini Stark Varg. The blank red plastics, white number plate, and general sexiness of this bike create an uncanny resemblance to the Ferrari of electric dirt bikes. But let's put looks aside and see how does it ride. Okay, we've got it's Drew behind the camera. First test ride on the new mini build. Starting mode two. Let's go. 
The size is not too small. Like I actually feel like I fit it quite well. And um, the power, it's night and day from the stock razor. It is, I mean, it's a 72 volt. Let's turn it up into three and, and pop a little wheelie. Cause the brakes, let's test the brakes first. That was silly. Okay, brakes feel good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, first, very first wheelie on this. Oh, it's a natural. <laughs> okay, I overestimated how snappy these brakes would be out of the box. They definitely need to be broken in a little bit more. I'm totally fine. That was kind of funny. Good content. Let's keep riding. I'm going to warm up these brakes a little bit now. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so nice! Come on! <laughs> the power delivery is fantastic. Electron Coat nails their tune every time. This is the V2.1 kit, so this is a newer kit than the Electron Coat Razor kits I've done in the past, and it feels amazing. You've got several sprocket options for the front sprocket, which means you can prioritize torque or speed. There's four sprockets. I've got the second highest speed sprocket. So this isn't really meant for stunting as much as some of the other sprockets, but let's see what kind of top speed we get. This is like, I'm gonna guess this is like 45. It should be, sir on speed. <laughs> This is so cool. This is so cool, especially because I built it myself, like just in my garage and, and so can you. It's it's so accessible. It's it's basically all plug and play. It's the coolest thing ever. Let's try a little knee wheelie here. Haha, <laughs> let's go! Now, first time riding this bike and it's just so easy. What a great bike for not only for beginners, but just like something to mess around with on that it's not too big. It's like Sir on speed, but half the size. Haha, <laughs> this is so fun. And it's like, it's homemade. There's nothing, there's nothing better than a home cooked meal or a homemade bike. You, it, it has something special in it. It's greater than the sum of its parts, you know? And the suspension. The suspension is so much better than stock. It's night and day. The stock suspension, it's for kids. If you're a kid, maybe you can get away with it. But if you're doing any serious riding and you weigh over 50 pounds, look at this. <laughs> this is too fun. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. So there you go, 
That is how you build your very own mini electric supermoto. The process of building it is awesome and the outcome is unbeatable for the price, size, and quality of ride. Look at this. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. As I do. Yeah.